Hello, this is Panda, and doing a day trade on RIM. Today is September 2nd, and what I'm going to do is I'm setting out an order here to go down at the break of uh, today's lows. I'm going to send out the order at 121.55, <clears throat> and I'm going to have my stop here. I'm going to have a 50 cent stop. So I'm just waiting. Um, had I woken up before uh, 11 today, I would have uh, done this trade at a break of 123 and uh, had a nice stairs kick staircase down. But you know, we can't get all the trades. So looking at this one now, if it breaks here, I'm going to go short and uh, have my stop in at uh, 122. So I'm going to pause it and uh, see what happens if we get filled. All right, we are filled. We just got filled just just a little bit after I paused it there. So I was entered short there at 121.5. So I did set my order at 1.55, but it just broke through that. I got in at 121.5, so I have my stop. I have my stop up here, and as uh, as this if this stock continues to go down I'm going to be moving my stop down as well so lock in the uh, lock in uh, profits or at least minimize losses if it goes against me but right now there's no point of moving my stop to break even because it's just 10 cents away and you know these stocks can definitely go up and down by uh, by several uh, decimal points at, at once so my, I'm comfortable with, with my stop up there. So I'm going to pause it and uh, return here. Okay, well, it did it did go down a little bit. Then it came right back up. It still didn't hit my stop here at 122. I'm going to keep it open and uh, come back to the video. Meanwhile, here on Apple, I'm getting a good setup. I'm, I have my order out to go long at a trigger above 172.25 and we'll see if that's filled let's go back to rim see what it's doing okay well it's still here so nothing really doing right now I'm gonna pause it okay back here on rim and uh, after about 15 minutes we're pretty much back to where we started Okay, so there was a move up, consolidation, and it looks like a move down. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm going to bring down my stop from 122 down, uh, down here at this high right here, 121 point, uh, 121.87. Well, I'm just going to bring my stop down, actually. Since, since this is moving, I'm gonna break it down to 121.8. Bring it down, and if I get if I get another big drop right here, I'm gonna bring my stop uh, to break even. I'm just wait to do that. You see the apple trade? I was gonna go long there at a break of 172.25. It's not it's not gonna happen, and I'm getting a different signal right now, so I'm canceling. I'm gonna cancel that order, and okay, so I'm no longer in this apple trade. Um, so uh, actually, let's let's stick with rib here. I don't want to do more trades right now because uh, doing one trade and tracking it while doing this video is uh, is enough work. As it is, so if we get another drop, I'm gonna bring myself to break even. So I'll put a pause. Okay, great. Look, we are getting this drop in rim. So I'm bringing my stop to break even right now. Okay, so if anything happens, it'll be a trade that was free, no harm done. So uh, now it's a question of. Uh, Lowering stops 
or taking profits. So we just have to make that uh, make that decision. This is part of the art form of trading. Uh, part of the science is you know getting in the trades, and it's an art trying to get out of them. I find, but it's a combination nonetheless of both. So, okay, we we are at a drop right now, 40 cents. If it does uh, if it does try to break this this 121, um, I'm gonna bring uh, I'm gonna bring down my stop as well here. See if I can lock lock some gains of at least say 30 cents. So that's how it goes. We just have to have to wait. So right now it's uh, 121.10, and I have to see you know what what I want to do here. So. Leave it here. I'm gonna pause it. Okay, it looks like it is wanting to break this 121. As that happens, I'm gonna move down my stop to 121, locking 50 cents. So I'm looking for this break of 121, and uh, it should drop down at least 10 cents. Okay, right now, I'm putting my stop in at 121, shooting out the order right there, and uh, if it goes up. It's okay. I'll get stopped out if it keeps on going down. I'm gonna keep on lowering my lowering my stop. I'm gonna write it down. Okay. So for every ten cents is going down, I'm gonna drop my I'm gonna drop my stop ten cents. So if it hits 120.8, I'm dropping my stop down to 120.9. So my fingers on the trigger on the other screen here. And if not, I get stopped out. I'll keep 50 cent gain. See what happens. Looks like it's it might, it might get stopped out here. Just very uh, hard to say. It could pop either way. So so I, we always have to have a stop in place, ready to get out at a moment's notice. And I hope it keeps dropping down, but that's beyond my control. Ooh. Okay, I'm out. I am out. So that was uh, that was a trade. I'm out. Almost 50 cents. They actually filled me at uh, 121.3. So anyway, 47 cent uh, profit on that. And uh, this is uh, this is uh, one of my first day trades in uh, in a little while now. I'm not day trading a lot anymore. I'm busy doing other things, uh, watching the markets for my iron condor strategy. So anyway, I just wanted to post this uh, to show you how how uh, how it can be while you day trade. Uh, this is a system that I use and the uh, system that I'm selling on my. Uh, my website this is a day trading course and uh, it's reasonable I mean for what the cost of the price is you can be making that you know in a day or two so okay well look the if we had our stop here a little bit higher maybe we, we could have got more profits here but then again we never know because a lot of times we have you know kickback uh, or kickback rallies on the on the break here so we just take take our profits as they come so you guys have a good day I'll uh, talk to you guys later